Hey guys, in this video, I want to kind of give you an overview on the new pose system and roughly how you can go about using it. So to begin, if you're not familiar, the pose system has been in the plugin basically since its start. However, it has gone through an overhaul, but you still have the ability to use the legacy system. So for example, if you're not sure what I mean by poses, we have a high port, low port, short stock. That's what's currently here now. And basically, I've overhauled how you can go to and from those poses. So I want to discuss some of the things, like all the settings, as well as the limitations of the old system and the advantages of the new. So starting from the top, here we have our new settings. So we have a high port, low port, and a short stock graph settings. Now, these are the three new ones. No more has been added. They're just kind of self-contained here. And as you can see, we still have the old right here. Now, starting with, we'll just do the low port because that's at default. You can still use the legacy settings by simply checking use legacy system. And that'll be on a per pose basis. So your high port, in this case, is using the new system. Low port's using the legacy system. And the short stock is using the new system. So if I uncheck this, you can see we get our two options here. So we have our return graph and our pose graph. So let's go ahead and check out the high port. So here we have our two graphs. So my pose graph setting, this is my two pose. So that'll be going from this to this. And then the return graph is going from this to this. So starting from the top, we have our graph speed multiplier. So this is basically going to be how fast do you traverse the graph? How do you, fast do you go from here to the last keyframe? So the bigger the value, the faster you're going to go to the end. Then you have your graph length. So how long do you, is your graph? Where is the last keyframe? So for reference, here my high port location has a value of 6. That's the last keyframe that I have. And let's look at the rotation. The rotation, actually I forgot about that because I changed it up a bit, has an ending value of 10. So because my, my uh, biggest value or my biggest length between the location and the rotation is 10, I want the graph length to be 10. So that's how you set that there. And then we have the option of use first person graph for third. So if I uncheck this, I basically just get the third person options to use however I really want. So if I have a dedicated graph for the third person and rotate location rotation, I can use that if I wish. But in my case, I want to use just two graphs. Keep it nice and simple. Use the same pose for the first and the third person view. So that's how that gets handled. And it's the exact same thing with the return graph. No different, same exact settings. It's just basically how you go from the pose that you're in back to normal. Nothing more. All right, so for starters, let's go ahead and uh, I guess compare the two systems. So I'll go ahead and check use legacy system for the high port. And here's the main disadvantage of the old system. So you have your old transform, which is basically nothing, and you have your high port transform. So the only thing that you do is you simply blend to that transform. So you just have a simple to and a from, to and from, nothing more. And you don't really have any control other than that. All you can do is control the position. And you can see there's a little tiny shake there at the end. That's just a dedicated curve that plays after the fact, just for an added effect. Now with the new system, you have a lot more control. So for example, when I go into high port, I push the gun out a little bit and I suck it back in. I have a little bit of an overcompensation and then I can go right back out and I have my correction shakes kind of like at the end. Again, I haven't spent too much time like making the graph look nice. So this is just kind of is what it is now. So basically, so you have the same kind of concept. So here's the location. So you have your two, or sorry, your from, which is going to be your zero and your two. So you're starting and you're ending. But the difference being you control how it gets there. So instead of just going like in a straight line from here to here, then from the red one from here to here and blue from here to here, you can now control how you get from the start to the end. And that goes for the rotation as well. So our start to our end. Doesn't really matter if that's there or not. Keep it clean. 
and then you have the same thing back. So you have your start to your end, which is going to be your zero. You just have all the control in between that you didn't have before. So how do these two graphs kind of compare? You can see they're almost backwards. So for reference, here's your high port location. So this is how you go from your normal pose like this to the high port pose. And then this one is going to be the from the high port pose back to normal. These are only the locations, not the rotations, but the rotations are done in the exact same manner. So what you do is to go to the pose, you start out at zero, and then you want to have your ending point. So this is where it might get a little confusing, but it's pretty simple. You can still use kind of the legacy system to figure this part out. So for example, I'll go into the pose customizer, I go to high port pose, and I'll change these values to whatever I like. Say, oh, I like this pose here. I'll go ahead and hit save poses. I'll compile the gun. I'll go down to the high port pose and I'll look at my transform here. So I have my location, my rotation. So six, negative 20, negative 15 for the location. So six, negative uh, 15, and negative 20. Then I have the rotation, 15, negative nine, negative 30. I grab my rotation. So six, uh, in this case it's negative 10, and negative 30. So I basically just match it. And that'll give me something that resembles this. So I have my simple from nothing to the pose. It's up to you to figure out how do I want to get there. So in this case, I know that I want to push the gun out a little bit before sucking it down. So what I do, that would be the green, is I push it out a little bit and I start sucking it in closer to me. And then for the up and down, I start moving up a, just a little bit and then I start going down. And then this, yeah, this should be my left and right. And then as I'm doing that, I'm basically, I move the firearm. I don't remember if down was left or I think up is to the, hmm. I think up, this is to the right. So I start sucking the gun a little bit to the left as I'm moving it, uh, starting to move it down and towards me. And then as I start really getting aggressive with it, I then start moving the firearm to the right. And that gives me a smoother blend as I go kind of like and settle the stock under my armpit. So that's kind of what that's doing. You basically control, you have your start and your end point figured out after what I just showed you with the post customizer uh, widget. From there, you basically just set keyframes in the middle to figure out how do you want to get there. And that's it. So it just gives you a ton more control. So it's almost at the point of you are quote unquote animating. I mean, you kind of are by working with keyframes. So you work with it in the same manner. You just got to kind of go back and forth, tweak and figure out what you like. And then once you get one that you do like for a specific kind of platform, like an M4, you can use that and basically carry it over to all of your others that share a similar, basically that you would want similar rounds to. And you can just do subtle tweaks to kind of get it how you want. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up how you can use it. You can easily use the legacy system if you want to use all these based upon which one you want and all that kind of stuff. And you're pretty much just good to go. So uh, this will be in the next update. And that'll probably be coming out in the next day or two. So hopefully you enjoy it.